Well, hey everybody. Hey, I needed to get out here for a few minutes and share some encouraging words. So, wow. You know, when we come together and we fellowship and, you know, I know myself personally, when I go back and read scripture that I probably read a thousand times, you know, you get enlightened. And it's amazing how scripture confirms scripture, right? We've already learned that. And then, you know, coming out here and sharing how it will spark even somebody else's dream, vision, or word that was given to them from the world, right? So, you know, being negligent in the past of not coming out here and sharing myself a few times well, for several reasons, which for those of you who have followed my channel know it's that's no excuse because I know that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So, of course, I want you to know that Saturday Night's Live this week will be same bat time, same bat channel, literally. And we're going to be doing communion as well as leaving uh, a list of prayers, requests, so that the prayer warriors that we have on this channel can go back afterwards in the chat and pray for y'all, okay? I understand there's a lot of needs right now, and we need to pray and encourage one another, right? So, talk about encouraging. Brother Ray just came over, and I'm going to ask him to follow through with a link for me, please. I'd love to see that. Oh, female cardinal just showed up. Sorry. <laughs> Distraction. Um, and he said that the number 717 was carved in the bushes in Jerusalem. Do you think that the Lord is using his mercy, his love, and his grace? Oh, my goodness. To wake them up and show them he is Lord? Absolutely. Praise be to God. as we shared and Sister Claw here had come back and left a comment that I wanted to share and then I wanted to read the scripture that she was sharing with us. Alright, so she said that and she says, Hi Sister Debbie, I was so stoked the Saturday before last night about the robin singing and then hearing the birds singing again in the evening. And then my husband, hearing the robin sing, turns to me and says, Do you hear that? He asked me at that very moment that I was reading Song of Solomon 2, 11 through 13. And it goes on with the scripture. She said that same night, which was last Saturday, she said she had shared it in the Saturday Night Live. And then... Sister Robin, <laughs> Fig Tree Generation, comes in the live. And so that was a total confirmation for her. And that was a scripture that she shared last week. And it totally blew her mind. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> I just love how God blows minds. And in a good way, of course. So she was reading out of... Song of Solomon, chapter 2, and the specific verses I'll point out when I get there, but we've gone through this before, but it's a short chapter, so let me read it, and it says, I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. As the lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters, as the apple tree among the trees of the wood. So is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with the great delight in his fruit that was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banquet house and his banner over me was love. Stay with me, wagons. Comfort me with apples, for I am sick of love. 
and his left hand is under my head, and his right hand doeth embrace me. I charge ye, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the rows and by the hinds of the fields, that ye be stirred not up, nor awake, my love, till he pleaseth. The voice of my beloved, behold, he cometh, leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. My beloved is like a robe and a young heart. Behold, he standeth behind our wall. He looketh forth at the windows, showing himself through the lattice. My beloved spake and said unto me, Rise up, my love, fair one, and come away. Okay, this is where our sister Sharon um, had sparked up the fact that this is also a rapture scripture, y'all, or a rapture chapter. For lo, the winter is past. I'm in verse 11 now. <laughs> and the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. And the time of the singing of the birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. The fig tree putteth forth her green figs, and the vines with the tender grapes give a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Hunkle poof. Oh, my dove, that art in the clefts of the rocks. In the secret places of the stairs, let me see thy countenance, let me hear thy voice, for sweet is thy voice, and thy countenance is comely. Take us, the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He feedeth amongst the lilies, until the daybreak and the shadow flees. Turn, my beloved, and be thou like a robe or a young heart upon the mountain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God Almighty. I, I want to thank Sister Paul for sharing that scripture, but it was kind of mind-blowing for her to have that confirmation with Sister Robin, the tree generation, as spoken of right here, right? And the birds are singing as we heard the morning dove screaming the other day. Here comes the king. And I know I'm not mooning. And I know I didn't make that up because it's live. <laughs> oh, and I got cardinals all over the place here. I'm sorry. Distracted. But let's stay focused on things above. And Saturday Night Lives are amazing because when we come together and share with one another, it's so uplifting and encouraging. It's really hard to get off the lie because when you start talking about Jesus, you know, <laughs> there's no party like the Holy Ghost party because the Holy Ghost party don't stop and you don't want to quit. And I know we have a time limit on YouTube, darn, or we could go on for days, right? Just talking about Jesus, it's amazing. So keep looking up, brothers and sisters, always. You know, there's a wearing down of the saints going on right now. We know all these things. We see these things coming to pass. And the pages that are in black and white leaping right out the birds everything is screaming and knowing that the king is about to return now let's praise his holy name forevermore as i encourage you with these words keep looking up because that king surely is coming now